Hey guys, President Bola Ahmed Tinubu cries out, the end has come. The moment some APC senators turned their back at him, agreed he messed up the economy totally with his harsh policies on Nigeria. You know, say when we they talk this thing, they know the truth too. All of them, they know. They understand that the step President Bola Metunubu took on that inauguration day was the cause of all this problem here and there. It was a very big mistake, but they, oh, everybody are now just pretending. I'm talking about the leaders, like they are not aware. You understand? They cannot just come and say, hey, see what you did. I'm talking about the, the same party members, but they understand. Now, the Senate is divided. Currently, Nigerian Senate is divided. They are not blaming the current... Uh, uh, blaming President Bola Metunubu on the current hardship that has bedeviled Nigeria. They said it was a mistake from the president. You understand? These senators who do not want their name to be mentioned said President Bola Metunubu messed up everything, knowing too well that in Nigeria, the country is already fragile. He did not make any implement implementation on grant. He came up, you know, with policy and all that. And now everyone is suffering it. The Senate now is divided. To the extent that those in the northern part of the country were like, we can't take this again. They are not being, they are not dragging themselves. We can't take this again. You people say President Muhammad Buhari was not doing well and all that. Now, the Senate president, a Senate um the southern president we perform well. Now, this is what we are getting. So, there is big confusion among the APC members concerning this uh, economy that has been, Nigerian economy that has been, that has collapsed. Because as it is now, it's just, it's just like we are in the middle of, in the middle of Red Sea. We don't even know where to go. The front, the back, we can't turn back, we can't turn front, not even left and right. The situation now, Nigeria is stuck. That is it. Nigeria as a country is stuck in the middle of Red Sea. Because these people, they have shown that they have no solution on ground. For the vice president to start blaming Peter Obi and Atiku Abubakar for the current economic, you know, uh, issues on ground that will make you to understand that they are stuck there is no vision yesterday a former APC campaign uh, uh, DJ said President Bola Metunubu confounded in her that he does not have a blueprint to rule the country so I just want to be the president oh when I win the election now I will draft that out so Anything, anyhow, let's just go there. And now we are here. Everyone is suffering. Meanwhile, the blame game keep on because this is just what they are good of doing. But the sweet part, the, the sweet part of the everything is they are not blaming themselves. Now, President Bola Metunubu administration, not blaming President Muhammad Buhari administration. Don't forget that this is the same party. I always say this. I don't even know why we are talking here and there. The APC party, they are aware. Even President Bola Metunubu, he, told, he said it during campaign. He said he's aware of the messed up on ground. And that is why he's coming to redeem Nigeria. He's coming to repair what President Bola Metunubu did. Please pardon me. What uh, President Muhammad Buhari did. There was a time he was attacking Muhammad Buhari government. You can't be like, say, they won't begin quarry and all that. Until they settled themselves, settled themselves inside. So you see, this will also shock you. As a Nigerian Senate President, Godwin Okbabio, pointed fingers at the former Central Bank of uh, Central Bank Governor, Godwin Emefele, attributing the current 
uh, the the country's current hardship to a certain monetary policies and actions implemented during MFLS tenor. So now they see what they tell on us. So so these people they are they have they have lost focus. They don't know what they are doing. Speaking at a function in Abuja on Sunday, Okpabio criticized MFLA, alleging that he left behind multiple debts and an economic mess for the current administration to grapple with. Like as I said, he is now blaming the same party. MFLA works with Muhammad Buhari. Muhammad Buhari, you know, is is, is is in the same party, APC. And in the midst of all this wala, why are they deleting Muhammad Buhari? MFLA is taking instruction from President Muhammad Buhari. Now everything is now heaped on the MFLA head. As it is now, in Muhammad Buhari's, in President Bola Metunubu's government, Buhari now is a saint. MFLA is the black sheep of the family. He's the one that collapsed the country. Everything that was done during Muhammad Buhari's time is now being blamed on a Mefele. They are not even talking about billions of dollars looted by the former AGF, Abu Bakam Alami. It's the same Mefele. But Muhammad Buhari's nephew, Tunde Yusuf, Sabiyu, the billions of dollars that was looted under the nose of President Muhammad Buhari. It's the same MFLA. All these people, they are not even touching their case. They are not, President uh, Tunubu is not even talking anything about these people. If you say you are fighting corruption, let it touch everybody. Then by then, Nigerians will understand that you are doing a good job. But for you to just continue to accuse one person among every other person, the person was not in, is not, is not the leader. He was, he was just like a servant taking instruction from their, from their master. So, where is their master? So guys, kindly share your thought below in the comment section. Thank you.